I'm Phil Washington. I'm the CEO of Denver International Airport. Uh, and it's not often uh, that we get to honor a living legend who lives right here in the community. Uh, but an, an artist of this caliber can look at, as Michelangelo said, and was able to do, look at a block of granite or stone and see something coming out of it. That's incredible. Give him another hand, please. And we are honored to showcase all of this art as Ed Dwight soaring on the wings of a dream is the name of this display. And the world will see this as they come through Denver International Airport. Uh, the exhibit tells the story of Ed Dwight through photographs, artifacts, uh, bronze sculptures, and a documentary film. And whereas Ed Dwight, despite adversity, has become one of the most prolific sculptors of African-American history and culture, having been commissioned to create over 130 monuments and sculptural memorials across the U.S. and Canada while operating from his studio in the great city of Denver, Colorado. And whereas the city and county of Denver joins in celebrating Ed Dwight's multifaceted career and makes him an inspiration and role model to many people. Now, therefore, I, Michael B. Hancock, Mayor of the City and County of Denver, Colorado, by virtue of the authority vested in me, do hereby officially proclaim November 4th, 2022, to be known as Ed DeWhite Day in Denver, Colorado. Yes, it was, it was brought to my attention also that you applied uh, to become a pilot at United Airlines. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make you um, with, the, with the power vested in me as the president of United Airlines, we are going to make you an honorary captain of United Airlines. This, this uh, uh, exhibit is about dreams. Uh, the word dream is used in the title of the exhibit. And so I did have a dream. I had a dream when I was sitting in the library reading all the Renaissance art things and I dreamed of being a great, one of the greatest artists in the world. It's one of these things, you know, you think the world started the day you were born. You know, we have that kind of thing going on in America. But here I found out that I could provide an additional service to the, to the black community and this country by teaching people what did black people do. And so that is the reason that, that there's 130 memorials uh, uh, around this country and and more and more and more to come. So, so anyway, thanks for coming out. Thanks for the honors. I, I, I don't know how, how I'm gonna live up to this. I have no idea what's in store to allow me to live up to this. But I swear to God, I am just humbled. So thank you, thank you. God lives. <laughs> <laughs>